One, One Bob. Bob. We're rolling. In a in hotel, a hotel not, not even kind of ready to go. Ready to go. <gasps> yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Oh my God. <laughs> Wait, you have to be part of this. You have to be part of this. Wait, should I wear, should I wear a hat? Yeah! So, yeah. Oh, fuck wear, you! Oh, oh, yours, is yours is better, is better but mine is kind of cool. cool. Also, also, this is not this is not the hat that I wore. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, yeah perfect. What? This, is this is not, not the, the hat, hat that, that I wore when Chi Chi may she rest in peace. Send me home in. This is custom made. You are so rip. Yeah, it's custom me, me. But what is this hat you wearing? What are you wearing? What are you doing? That's it's it's my hat. Bob, you always had good taste, and I always knew you were that girl. I always knew you were that girl. I always knew you were going to be that girl. I see you quit drinking again. Listen. Listen. That was supposed to be no, no, no. Listen to me. That was no, that was supposed to be a read. But, but, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! This is... Can you stop recording? Wait, don't do it yet because I have to. I have to plug in my microphone. But once you do, I'm... I hope oh, you are, are recording. recording. Why have you? Have you, you, you better be recording, be recording immediately, immediately right now. Right now. <laughs> as soon as you done it, I press record. Thank, Thank you. you. This, this is, is the best. best. Right now, right Layla, now McQueen, Layla McQueen, naked, naked maybe, maybe having sex having with sex Bob, Bob behind the behind camera. The camera. And now they and think now they're, they're very they're clever, clever, like, clever, like cutting off their, off their camera. camera. It is the Thorky Thor show, always was. And. Welcome, Welcome to First to First, first impressions. impressions. Now, now Mitch, 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 cut Mitch to this, cut to theme, this song. theme song. Thor, Thor G, G, back in town. Back in town. Um, um. <laughs> 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 Mitch, I need you to re restart, restart the recording so I can switch to my nicer camera. Because the, the, the okay, children well, dragged me last time. I'm going to stop recording. Hold on, hold on. Bob, um, can you move your camera just back a little bit and then cut out the headspace a little bit? Too? Boom. Hold. Hold. Bob, what did you just tell? Wait, no, 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 no. Bob, you just told me I'm a little OCD and well, a little what? Well, you said a little OCD and I said and also a little, little D-R-U-N-K. Well, what does that mean? D-R-U-N-K? D-R-Q-R-Y. D-R-U-N-K. What does that mean? Thurgy, what does you think it means? Do not resuscitate. I don't know. What are you talking about? <laughs> Bitch drunk. Thirsty. <laughs> oh, oh, my, my God. God. <laughs> yes and no. I don't think. <laughs> you are ridiculous. Wait, did you have a gig tonight? Did you, did you, what, did, what, what gig did you have tonight? <sighs> Bob, listen, in New York, we're not all celebrity stars traveling the globe, filling television shows. Uh, I took a local gig in Brooklyn, and we view the RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars at Tailgate in Brooklyn every Thursday night. So uh, I just came from that. It is now, what, 4 o'clock in the morning in New York. And I'm here with you, and I want to talk about the episode. Well, I also want to talk about the fact that we have we have reached that milestone. Oh, fixing my wig. Ignore that, everyone. You you broke the, the Instagram. Wait, curse. can you move your hairline for me again? That was amazing. Woo! That we, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, before wait, wait, wait. Before we get started, can I do something that I was planning, and I just want to do it right now? What? There's a birthday among us, and I don't have any cake at my house. But I do have an avocado that I shoved two <laughs> candles in, and yeah, I do, and the price tag is on the other side of it, which I think is more that's more relevant. Can we sing, Mitch? Happy birthday! Yeah, you you lead it. Happy, Happy birthday! Bir we, we, we oh, I forgot you're tone deaf. No, <laughs> no, it's because there is a lag. No, no, you are horrible. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to, to you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to, to you. you. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, dear, dear Mitch Farino. Happy, Happy birthday to you. you. Mitch, blow it out. <laughs> it wasn't me. I didn't do that. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was nice to me. Thank you so much.
I love you so much. Thanks for being with us. And let's talk about well, RuPaul's Thurgy, Drag Before we Race. start, tell everyone where they can find you if they want to, um, if they want to like watch RuPaul's Drag Race with you. Oh well, it's every Thursday night now uh, at uh, Tailgate in Brooklyn, which is a brand new venue, and they contacted me, and it's a marvelous show in the middle of Williamsburg called Tailgate at the venue, and uh, I plug about it every week, and I I love love. Love, love this show, show so much, and it's amazing. I, I, well, next time you're in New York, can you guys come out and like hang out with me, to. please? Well, you know, with the five thousand extra people who have joined your Instagram now, some of them will probably come watch the show. <laughs> I was gonna wait. I wrote all those notes. You know, I like take rigorous notes before we get going. Also, I was got a little hungry, so I ate a little bit of a piece of paper. <laughs> Um, so but, we broke the curse. Way, you now let's you, talk about this you, right you, before. The, the, by, by the way, way everyone, everyone wrote me all these stupid, stupid messages. messages like, we saw your stupid YouTube, YouTube thing, thing with Bob. Bob. Here's, Here's a follow, a follow. And, I'm and I'm like, like oh no, lord, now, Lord, now it's, like it's like a pity, pity follow. follow. What did they say? And stupid. I got, I got, I got like four thousand followers last week. That's amazing. I mean, what the girl? What? I don't, I don't you know. know, I, you know I, thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you very you. much. <laughs> thank you. Well, <laughs> George is like, you dumb idiots who followed me, you stupid fucks. I mean, you're so, you're so stupid. stupid. I mean, you are wrong. insane. Oh my God, Thorgy, you are really one of the wildest folks I think I've ever met in my life. I don't, I don't even yeah. know what to say or do about you. You are wild. Um, first of all, I'm still wearing off, this. off the top. <laughs> That fucking bracelet. <laughs> Can someone do a supercut of every time Thor just worn this fucking bracelet? Oh, it's um, every night. Every night. So. Okay, off, right, off the top, get, what are to you... Work. Let's get to work. Yeah, let's yeah, yeah. Let's get to work. Okay, off the top, what are you thinking about this episode? Like, off the... Okay, first of all, Raja won $20,000 for that lip. It is so crazy to me that girls are winning twenty k for a lip sync. It is why... I mean, also, congratulations. I'm, at this point, I want to announce out loud that I am Team Raja. At this point right now, I am Team Raja. Uh, I will say this, and I said it last episode, is that she is the best in like the confessionals, like the boy confessionals. Mm hmm. Right? Yeah, well, like, I, I wish she goes. Always, like, she, she says best, like, she's like, and how about this? And she leans into the camera, and I'm like, <laughs> I like love everything she has to say. She's amazing in every way. Such an entertainer. So good. I love when she talks. Amazing. I love when she talks. She's like, I want to say this real quick. Can we please give a big toast to Trinity the Tuck Taylor? She did an amazing <laughs> job in the challenge. And I think that we need to acknowledge that she is doing a very good job on the show. <laughs> Something about the way that but she But you got to do, like, it's lots of this. She's like, she's I, d <laughs> I do want to say out loud one time real quick that they did do a very good job in the challenge. <laughs> love it. Love every second of it. Love. Oh, wait, Bob um, disappeared. I'm. But you can still hear me. That's really that's actually though, right? very funny. On your birthday, Mitch, you were uh, trying to call me out earlier for having a Wi-Fi <laughs> issue, but really, Bob's sound and video went out. So you really, can still hear me. The, you can. Who you is can the still winner hear me. of this episode? It is me and Layla McQueen. I'm sorry. You can, no, you can just, still hear me. I know you can hear me, Thorgy. I know you can fair, hear me. Fair is fair, and avocado to avocado, it is fair. Fair is fair, fair is fair. Now listen. By the way, Mitch, did you like that little gag? I was like, I had to do something for Mitch. I didn't know it was your birthday. How old are you, like 25, 26? I'm a for little, a brief I'm a lot, month, Harry, you want to put this in? Well, I'm a lot younger than you, but you know. For a brief moment, can we talk about the fact that basically everyone chose Jiggly Caliente's lipstick? Like, basically everyone, with the exception of Trinity There's K. Bonnet. Trinity K. Like, Bonnet. By the way, I chose you. But also, like, Yara, Yara Sophia chose her last time. Do you <laughs> think, is it shady to choose a girl because she chose you? <sighs> that takes a second to consider, doesn't it? It's like... I mean... It also, it takes a caliber of a person to be, like, vindictive like that. And may I mention me on All Stars 3, when, like, I was eliminated by Shangela, got invited back, I picked her name to win. 
I was so the like, only one who picked Shangela. So no, I'm like fair. Fair is fair. She did the best. I picked her name. I was the only one, even after she eliminated me. And I was like- but What made it interesting though, was that Yada Sophia was the only one who picked Trinity. And then Trinity was the only person left who picked Yara Sophia. So it was like, girl, like, what do you do? What do you do with that? You know what I mean? And then she was like trying to explain it in different ways. And I'm like, no, no, no. You can't fool a fooler. You can't trick a tricker. Yeah, I think, I personally think they picked each other's names out of, I think that, I think that Yara Sophia picked her name because she was, she wanted to eliminate someone who was stronger. And I think that Trinity picked her name out of spite. That's what I think. That sounded like a computer going out of service as you were speaking. (laughs) Did you not hear what I said? Mitch, can you yeah. hear me, Mitch? What I said was, I know, I don't know how to fix it. I even pay for the extra fucking Wi-Fi, but hotels have terrible Wi-Fi. Anyway, what I said was, what I said was, I think that Yara Sophia picked her name because she wanted to eliminate strong competition. And I think that she picked Yara's yes. name because, but that was just out of spite, just out of spite. But didn't say it. Also, if I said that, would you say this, Bobby? You were like, I'm picking this girl's name because she picked mine. You probably would. I would say it. Yeah. I'd yes, be like, Bitch, you I picked know. Me. Also, so would I be like, you know what? Fuck this cunt. <laughs> I hate her. Right? I'm picking her name. But when you try and trick a tricker, you're like f- trying to fool the whole audience watching the show. I'm exactly. like, girl, just say exactly. what it is. Just say it. It's fine. Literally. You're okay. Mad. Also, quick it's question. It's fine. All right. So the girls are they're in these groups now and they have to create these like these drag queen infomercials. Th- this yeah. is gonna sound shady. Are Ross and Michelle, are they directors? Why are they always directing the like But first of all, I'll say this. Ross looks really good. <laughs> he looks he yeah. actually looks like really healthy and lovely and wonderful and happy and like glowing skin. I'm like, fuck you, Ross. You look so good. Ross looks, he looks great. so good. He does look good. But yes, this is when it's like also I you have to pull from our experiences on the show, right? Mm-hmm. When I was there and it was like for the presidential campaign. It was like Michelle and and uh, Carson Kresley laughing at every yeah. joke I had to give. Yes, for me. Yes, me La- too. Oh, I, I was on the same. I was on the same ah, season. Ha, ha. <laughs> ha, 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 ha. And I was like, I'm gonna win this episode. And then I went home. <laughs> Bob, do you remember when I went home? Yeah, I remember because I won that episode. <laughs> <laughs> this is why I, I love a- you. And this is why. This is also why I drink. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great episode for me. That was a great one. Um, now, okay. All right. So, all right. All right. All right. Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So as they're telling, as they're, as they're doing their scenes, I didn't even write a bunch of notes for them doing their scenes, but I just know one well, thing. I Yara, so- did. Yara Sophia is like dirty. Like she's filthy. Like every time she tells jokes, it's always like, <laughs> My big titties, my fucking dick is sticking out. I'm like, she is really into blue humor. May I make a deeper comment just like getting into people? I think she okay. is a little a bit of a insecure person. So she finds humor in like being dirty sometimes. And I want to shake her up and slap her in the face and go, relax. You're actually really creative. You're actually mm-hmm. very talented. You're going to win no matter what. Just be real. But she's always this like, <laughs> like there's a lot. Clown. Silly clown. And I'm like, oh, I want to give you a hug sometimes. Am I being too deep? Maybe. I don't no, know. No, I, I, don't, I, mean, I don't know. I mean, I think it's a fair assessment. I think there's, there's a lot going on with Yara Sophia. And it, it she seems in, inaccessible. Her emotions and feelings seem inaccessible behind this really uh, uh, wild persona. Who are you? Who are you? But they did also benefit as an episode for the editors. Editor here, every time she went, ha, 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 ha. And then it was like the next edit. Ha, 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 ha. At and what I'm point like, she did fully right. say though? At what, at what point she fully said, "Sorry, it's my nerves. It's, it's when I'm nervous I make this noise." So That's there was I'm like saying. this it's little the crack in the thing. that I'm like, she was like, she was like, "Yeah, when I'm nervous I make a noise." Ah, 
but they love it. But I just, I wanted wanted to wake up and just be like, hey, did she really say that though? I missed that, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I was really tickled when, uh, (laughs) when Eureka, it's just such a Eureka moment. Oh, I literally, I'm reading my notes right now and I'm like, I wrote Eureka out of makeup because I made this comment earlier tonight when Eureka was like, And I was, and I went on the mic. I was like, this is Eureka out of makeup. And the audience <laughs> fucking loved it. I was like, this is great. But also, can and I if say you this? want great anecdotes like this, please go down to Tailgate every single Thursday with Tracy <laughs> Ford and watch your Paul's Drag Race. Stop it. But at the end of the episode, it was like they turned her from an exorcist, like, like a d- demon victim into like, Oh, now I'm an angelic one, but her makeup never changed. Was still, but she, cha- I but she was changed funny. her dress with vomit all still all over it. And I was that like, That really tickled me. You didn't like that? <laughs> no, I was like, Have a second to like maybe put like better, like cleaner makeup on to like, like go like, Oh, and now I'm cured. But the green vomit was still all over her chin. And I was like, That really, t- I enjoyed the fact that she still, like, she, that she basically did the same Paul Pork Products thing. And she's like, Hi, yes. everyone. But she still, no, I really love it. They just didn't it. have time it. to have her change makeup. Stop. It. Stop I, I, I also wrote down, I love when she said, Oh my God, Miss Thing, I done broke the bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh my I God, Miss Thing, I done lo- broke the bed. Eureka is my favorite person on this show. She is so good for television, and We Are Here is lucky to have her. I just, I'm so jealous that I'm. Well, not it's called it's called We're Here, but um, I'm glad you you watched. We it. are uh, here, baby. Yes. It's called We're Here. You know, I didn't call your we show. We dra- are here. I didn't call your show Magnificent Drag. I called it Dragnificent. They changed. They tried to change it to Magnificent. How funny that you said that. <laughs> That's actually really Listen, clever. Listen, what do you, okay, first of all, okay, what's up with, why would Silky give her line away? S- fill me in. You like, gotta remind Silky, me. Silky, okay, so Silky only had three lines, and they're doing all these costume changes. Silky is feeling um, insecure about the scene, and then Silky goes, oh yeah, go ahead and just say my line, bitch. Yeah, what? no. Why would you give your, like, line, why would you do that? You have three lines. It's like, be an actress, be the forefront. You want to win this competition, do it. Like, yeah. that just did not make sense. It, honestly, it really felt like Silky just laid down and died on this episode. Like, there was a point where I, I was I was watching with Layla, and I just said, oh, my God, Silky just went home. Like, they're going to send Silky home. She really and- laid down and just let them run which is so weird for her, but I think it also is a bigger conversation to be had about how people are so afraid of how they're going to be perceived by the fans. It is huge. Huge. You, girl, you just like, I, I, I'm trying to like keep it together, but you just like, and I was like, yes. It is, imp- but have you not thought about that way? You're a big figure with lots of follower followers. If you say something wrong, people are going to attack you. Think about yeah. it on the show now. After how popular it's gotten, many Emmy awards, right? All these awards, mm-hmm. all this—they—they're thinking about it, and I feel for these girls, right? I'm not crazy. Yeah, right? it's crazy. No, it's not crazy. A, a big—you're not crazy. It is valid. A lot of people are. It is hard for them to compete on RuPaul's Drag Race because they're also trying to be like come across good on a reality TV show and they're afraid the fans are going to read them down. So it's almost impossible for the girl, for some girls to compete on the show, especially for an all stars. And you've had a bad experience. And I do think that Silky got it really hard. I think that the fans were really fucking tough on Silky in regards to her appearance on season 11. Like it was, yeah, she was a little wild. She was rambunctious, but like the fans were just being too much. And it affected her now. I used to do a new trivia night in New York City. Uh, And one of my trivia questions, which, albeit a little uh, testy, but it was on a Reddit uh, voting of 500,000 votes. Who are the top three most hated queens of RuPaul's Drag Race on Reddit? Do you know who the top three were? Oh wow, top three. I mean, I'm assuming since you just said Silky that she's probably one that we're that we're talking about Silky, she's probably one of them. <clears throat> Which actually surprised um, me when I looked it up as a trivia question because I thought it was gonna be all fun and games, but it wasn't because I read the names and I was like, fuck. But Silky is was it on Silky, there. Mimi, 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 I'm first. Jeremy. 
Well, I want to stop guessing because now I just, I just sound mean. <laughs> you got to keep going, baby. <laughs> How about this? No, keep. Who else, Bob? No, no. 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 top three were Tyra Sanchez, uh, mm. uh, um, Silky, and but the number mm -hmm. one was Sherry Pie. I mean. Now, top six included Mimi. I'm first, Jeremy Carey. Do you know what number I was? What number? 23. Do you know what number I am? You know, this is going to drive you crazy. Wait, no, stop. I Wait, I have a better joke. Do you know who I was just after? Was who? Latrice Royale. So that's when I looked at this fucking competition and I was like, you guys are garbage. This whole thing is garbage. Everyone is hated. Everyone is like, like you're going to hate, like, Latrice Trial was more hated than me on this like thing. And I was like, girl, well, how do you know who, hate Latrice do you know who the <laughs> do you know who the most the most light queen on Reddit is? Oh, uh, who? No! That's why I drink. That's why I drink. I hate you. I hate you. I hate you. All right, wait, wait. It's wait. true. I am the most light queen on Reddit. <laughs> You're just no, really? On red? What? Yes, Did you create the competition? Stop it. No, I'm the most, listen, I'm the most light queen on Reddit. Thorgy. Again, also, it's not a competition, in, but when it was. I have, I have always been in love with you. The moment I met you, I said, I like you. We're still liking each other. You're very like. Where was it at? What, what was the bar? It with was, that the bar said, was with that said, shush your mouth. With that said, I hope you die tomorrow. What? And I did take some notes and I wrote, Kylie looks like Madonna. Does Sonique not look exactly like Madonna? I mean, to me, she's more Erica Jane than Madonna, but Ew, Kylie looks like, like Erica Jane. Yeah. All right. Fine. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Back you to Sookie. Like, back to Sookie. But wait, but she back really to, does back to Sookie Madonna. real quick. What I'm shook about, I've actually never seen Silky be so open about, like, I've never seen her not being like, so wow, she was like, I'm really in my head. I'm so insecure. I I'm nervous and I'm afraid to speak. I have never seen Silky be that like open about her feelings. It was really kind of strange. It was really kind of wild to see. You're talking about middle of the episode when she got like her little moment to like open up. Yeah. 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 I've never I've never seen her be like that before, which is uh, a little bit refreshing, but also kind of like, oh my god, wow, Suki's really opening up and like letting the children know that she's like going through it a little bit. Yes, I, I have to keep my mouth shut because I don't know Silky. Have you met Silky and worked with Silky? I, I've never worked with Silky, but I've met her a few times, yes. I've never like actually had a moment with her. And you know this about me, is like I really can talk and meet people. I ask questions. Mm -hmm. I'll be late to the show because I'm like, Fuck. And then I meet I, I, then I meet up with you later in the night. I'm like, you know who I love is Silky. I just had a great That's conversation very, yeah. with her. I've never had that with her. So I watch her on the show for a second time and I'm like, I have to keep my mouth shut sometimes because I don't really know her. But I did appreciate yeah. that she opened up and was a real human being and lovely performer and and complex and you know she has her master's degrees they kept talking about yeah. her master's degree i'm like okay doctor you, know. you heard it here authority said it silky's a real human being it is anyway next uh jan <laughs> a real human. Uh, oh i wrote down a curious flipper now every time she went to go speak yeah there it is so every time she went to go speak about something somebody went what what a lot. I'm like, it's her wait, does flipper. A, wait, does Akira have a flipper? I know, Tr I know Trinity has yes! a flipper. Does have oh a flipper? Oh my God, yes! It's these giant, what? Bob, do you have good teeth? Do you ever get good teeth? These old You things. don't have bad, but are they yours? Oh, you got these. You have great teeth. No, you most of my teeth, most teeth. of my teeth, most of my teeth are mine. They're not all mine, but most of them are. Like but I chipped this you, tooth in third grade. I chipped this tooth in third grade. So that's fake. And oh my you God, remember on wait, our season, I was smiling. Bitch, when did you get all these done? Yeah. 
Georgie, these are my teeth. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm in awe of your teeth right now. Stop it. You look amazing. Georgie, these are my teeth. Oh okay, my I had God, a man. I had a, a a a missing tooth here and here and I, I got it filled in. Also, but the you rest also are spoke about you spoke about it all the time. You're like, I get yeah, this fixed. Maybe that was what I focus. Your teeth look amazing. Yeah. Fuck you. Now I need to drink. This is why I drink. I, this is why I didn't win. Thursday, your this teeth look, your teeth are great. What's wrong with your teeth? Your teeth are great. I know. I was just trying to pull that out of you when you said it. <laughs> you are ridiculous. Happy birthday. <laughs> oh, shit. We need to- oh, wait. It fell on the floor. It fell on the floor. We need to wait, do another wait. show together. All right. Oh, I love you so much. I'm having such a blast. Okay. The next note I wrote is Jan's placement of her merch is out of country. Oh, it's wild. It's wild. I, when I saw that that uh, Silky was, not Silky, Ginger was wearing it, I was like, why, why do I keep seeing this robe? She also has dog collars. Jan dog collars. Bob, what is the most outrageous merch you have, like, Market it. Me? I've never done anything crazy. I, I've only ever done. But you're shirts, like a winner pins. of Drag Race. You're Bob the Drag Queen. Like, what is the craziest merch you've ever like sold? I mean, I had I, I did have a line of purses that I sold with Lux Deville. So I did, did have an actual line of yeah. We sold we sold them all out. Um, so I did have a. They didn't sell them. It wasn't like overnight. It, it took us a little bit to sell them. To well, be quite per, frank, purses are t- purses are tough. They are tough. Like right, They're they tough. were expensive. They were like a hundred bucks a piece. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So it's kind of tough. But now <laughs> Jan is selling like dog collars, so it gives you an idea. But then on the show, what did you sell? What's the crazy thing you scene- sold? Well, if you really want to get into it, thanks for asking. Um, no, I don't know. I don't. I don't even care. I don't even care. No, I have like a napkin. What do you sell? And stupid okay. T-shirts. Yeah. I don't know. Um, the craziest thing: tote bags and just things that, like, I know people will actually use. Like, that's where I yeah, spend normal my money. stuff. Yeah, yeah I will buy too. the normal merch. Stuff. I will buy the merch in bulk, knowing like this is something that somebody will be like, "Oh, a tote bag at DragCon to carry around all my Bob the Drag Queen purses in this tote bag." <laughs> it, it, it is wild. Do, you, do you have any this more notes so- from the from the the acting segment? I mean, I I also I really love the line. Your mother frocks don't your mother's frocks don't fit so well. <laughs> I don't know why. That <laughs> wait, who said that? Me. I wrote that down. So, wait, 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 wait. Who said that? I Eureka. think Eureka said it. Your, yeah, yeah, your mother's your bed. mother's frocks your don't fit so well. That was so really funny. Well. Um, that really took all right, me what else did I write down? Um, opening up. Oh, oh, when Silky was opening up about her whole life, the only thing that I could stare at was her Michael Jackson wig in the confessionals. Did you see this? <laughs> well, her look in the confessions, she kind of looks like a randomized sim. Like, like, <laughs> like all the, like, the, the, it's just like this random hat and this random wig, but... But also, I will say this. It was like a Michael Jackson, like tacky, (laughs) synthetic, black sheen curl to the neck (laughs) with a red hat. And I was like, and she was like, I was bullied as a kid. And I was like, Michael Jackson wig. (laughs) (laughs) You're wearing a Michael Jackson wig. I did love her look, though. Her look in the workroom, that polka dot jumpsuit was real. I kept thinking, that is really cute. You liked it? I noticed it. The but polka dot, I, I really like, yeah, I like the polka dot jumpsuit. Personally. Also, I like a good, also, it was like a relaxed, like, fit, like, jumpsuit, like, thing. Like, I would wear that, but I don't know. I don't know. I have my opinion. Uh, um, <laughs> okay, also, oh, wait, I, I want to okay, move so let's, on Let's keep going with the episode, because otherwise I could talk about a million things and I want to put my tongue in my mouth. My foot in my mouth. Uh, so the redemption, the, the whole point of the thing was redemption runway now did you watch all yes. stars three with me on it now do you know how that of course i've like, seen every episode of drag race every single episode it it, tr- it triggered me because that was the episode i went home for my stevie nicks and then my redemption was the neon look that i did mm-hmm. now let me ask you your opinion from the first one to the second one did i do a better job 
I liked it. I thought you did do it. I thought the look was better. I really it, well, did. It's more like but a also, my question is, I made the hat. Did you pick the look to redo or did they pick it? That, thank you for asking me. Because this is what I said to everyone I host with. Which, by the way, is Miss Jade. And I want to say this. Miss Jade and Crystal Hart. And I told Miss Jade that I was like, Are you Bob in an earthquake, you. Thorgy? Are you in, is there an earthquake in your building? Your elbows are on the table. So every time you talk, you do this. Oh. You're like, oh, I, I host to- with... <laughs> No, I bought this new, like, kitchen, like, the middle of my apartment. To, you mean this? Yes. Every time you talk, you're like, let me tell All you. All right. Oh, because, you know, I'm just so physical. I'm so physical. All right. I yes. won't touch the table. Uh, but anyway, Miss Jade says hello. Queen of Shade. She's incredible. Uh, but we did the show together, and I leaned up, and I was like, listen. Wait, wait I forgot what I was talking about. Because you interrupted me about the earthquake. <laughs> what is the earthquake? Earthquake? No, I said, did you get to pick your outfit? Did they pick it for you? Thank you. So I leaned in and I was like, eh, I don't always get to complain about these on social platforms because it makes me look like bitter and disgusting. But I was like, this is a fact that like a lot of people don't know is that I didn't get to pick the redemption look that I was eliminated for, right? On that episode. Mm-hmm. They were like, we didn't like this neon look. And I was like, oh, I kind of liked it. Also... Looking back, like the green hair, right? The green one with the checkered board. Remember that? The neon look mm-hmm. that we did? And I remember you were mm-hmm. bald with the dripping thing. And you wore this amazing yep. pantsuit. I was like, I love these mm-hmm. pants. Anyway, I wore this like kind of 60s look because I thought it was cool. But it was a little too many things in one. So they chose that look for me. And they said, this is your redemption look. And I was like oh, you didn't like it? Like, I kind of love that look. So then I did it in another way, in a different way, but I used the same designer, which is Domino, which we both love and Mm -hmm. work with. And I said, listen, they didn't like it. They want me to do this again. I want to use the same fucking fabrics, but I want to make it like next level. So, but I also wanted to make it me. So I made this like big, weird, like headpiece from scratch, all me. And, And Domino made the dress, which I thought it looked great. Anyway, got eliminated. They didn't love it or whatever. Um, But when this came up and they were like, Redemption Runway, I was like, ooh, it certainly meant something to me. What made it so strange to me was like, they should have been doing redemptions of runway looks. Some of them were doing redemptions of like snatch game looks and entrance entrance looks. looks and and like a look you wore in your eighth grade Christmas pageant, and also a dress that your cousin wore one time on also Facebook. Also, this weird back challenge you did on your season, and it's like, yeah, or like the redemption of like, I'm like, what? Well, these should they should all be, in my opinion, runway redemptions. And also, it is kind of shady them to be like, we didn't like. I mean, it just seems like the girls should be able to choose which looks they redeem. Yes. Uh, th- thank you. But when I say this out loud, it makes me look bitter. But I'm like, I could have picked a look that I would have loved to redo. But they didn't like that one. So I was like, let's redo it. And I still got sent home. So. Oh, no, third, there's so much else to make you look bitter. This is there's this is not even there's. I a was lot hoping you were going to say material. there was a lot of other looks you could have done because they were so bad. But, but I, I was going to say that too, but yeah. <laughs> um, I hate you. I okay, love let's you. talk about. All right, let's keep going. Let's keep talk going. about these looks. So, do you have? Wait, do you quickly? Do you have the document with all the looks on it? It's in the chat here on Riverside. It's in the chat here on Riverside. Thank you, because, wait, I ha- I've set up a whole new setup. Oh, by the way, Laganja just texted me. Because I texted Laganja during the episode, and I was like, I just am in love with you. You're incredible. She just texted me and said, thanks, Mama. You're the best. Her angels me was La- everything. Oh, we'll get there, but fuck that We'll get girl. there. We got to talk about these looks. Wait, be- click click the link, Thorgy. <laughs> All right, so what are we going to do? What are we going to do? So we're going to start with RuPaul. Okay, first of all, it, I, I know I talk about RuPaul being, being 60 a lot, but it's just really, RuPaul is really stunning. I'm I'm really shook by how great she looks. I mean, granted, RuPaul is, I think RuPaul has the same gown in 89 colors with a few bibbles and bobbles added on here and there. But I mean, Oh, you honestly, can't say if, that. If, if, no, 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 no. Because if you look throughout all the seasons, whenever she walks out, there's jumpsuits, there's pantsuits. That is She's true. Wearing- I've seen peplums. I've seen leotards. I've seen, you're right. I've seen a lot. She does it's wear changed. the gown. The shapes have changed, changed, changed. 
They have. You're right, but Come she on. does wear the tank gown a lot. Not exclusively. She doesn't wear the I tank gown say, exclusively. Her shape is the tank gown. You're right. Yeah, but, but it also good. looks good on her. Good. Like, keep wearing it. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, she looks yeah, amazing. Yeah. And then um, she does this, okay. and I'm like, you have toned arms. You're like, yeah. yeah. I'm like, oh god, you really take care of yourself. And her face has gotten. Yeah, she's she looks gotten amazing. Older, but she's amazing. She's amazing. She's really always retained looking exactly the same yeah. as the same celebrity face, but looking just a little fresher without looking too overdone. She also still wears outfits from the 90s, which is crazy. She has, she, every once in a while, she'll put on an outfit from the 90s. I'm like, oh my God, you better work. That's why my new t shirt that I'm coming out with next week, I don't mean to plug it, but it says RuPaul is fucking bullshit and everyone should buy it. So, anyway, no, next t shirt. Next. T-shirt. Anyway, let's go. To, so, Kylie Sonique Love is redoing her Lady Gaga Snatch Game look. Okay. Which this is look interesting is choice. amazing. You hate it? It's no, no, no. amazing. I, 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 I evolved. I evolved on this as I, as I went along. <laughs> like the look, because I was like, amazing. I don't know how I feel about this. I also don't understand the reference. The the point of reference. I don't. I don't. Can you find the picture of Gaga wearing this? The oh, outfit all, is cool, but it's all redemption. So what did she wear the first time? Yeah. What did she wear? That's it what was, we have to do. Yeah, right? it, it, it looks. She looks like she. She looks like a tree from the uh, from. From a Dr. Seuss book? <laughs> yes. Uh, the the, the but, Lorax. Yeah, she looks like the Lorax. But She's she wearing the barber suit. She does, <laughs> she does look good, though. I would say that she does look good. You couldn't really see the suit before because her look before, she was sitting in behind that desk. We don't have a great shot of it, but yeah, yeah. she does look good. I'll give it that. She does look good. Let's go on, let's go on to Raja. Okay, I want to say this out loud. I think that Raja's first look was good. I think that when Raja went down in the the first time, she looked good, and this time she looks even better. Raja is my pick for to win this season. Oh, she stop. looks stop. absolutely stunning. Yeah, she is. Also, can I ask you a question? When I saw this with that what? fucking tree hair, I went, "This is something I would wear at Saliva Tuesdays at the Ritz." Is this not something I would do? The hair, yes. The gown, I cannot see you in a gown. Not like the gown, this, but the hair. But the absolutely. hair. When I saw it, and then she cleaned up like the like the front with the little. I'm like, this is exactly what. And she wore a fucking tree on her head. I'm like, yeah. Anyway, I'm all. And about I also Raja. love that she has a burlap. She also has a burlap shawl. <laughs> I didn't like the shawl. I think get rid of the shawl. Close. But the hair and the gown were everything. Everything. Yeah, she looks. She, I love this queen. All right, let's go on to Eureka. Okay, Eureka's cat suit. Eureka's body is so good in drag. I think this looks <sighs> great. I, you don't like this? No. Oh, I'm trying to. Th- no, stop. Don't read into. I, I didn't. I, I didn't. Mean you heard to it. Give confirmed, that. confirmed. It was a good. Georgia it was a over. good. Uh, I was like, fuck this. I hate this queen because she's so. She's so confident in her big, huge, amazing body, and she always shows up. What was her quote? I wrote it down. I actually wrote this down, and I forgot. She goes, she goes, she goes when a body is wonderful, put a suit on well, she it. Goes, I know it's a, we- I know it's a body suit. But she goes, I know it's a body suit, but when the body's right, put a suit on it. Put a suit on yeah. it. Ah! And I'm like, that was her signature. Ah! I'm like. Eureka, you're doing everything yeah. right. She is so likable. And I don't know what designer she's hiring to create these like- That's Marco like, Marco. Very, Marco like, made this outfit. It's amazing. But every body suit that she does seem to wear or every dress or gown is very architectural. So it fits the body yep. just the right way. And I have a feeling that she has everything to do with what she tells the designer to do. She goes, listen, I'm a big girl. You got to do these shapes and you got to make me look good. And then the designer does it. Anyway, she looks amazing. She looks amazing, amazing. Yeah. I mean, some of her cat suits are by Patrick Howell, and some of them are by Marco Marco. I think this one yeah. is Marco Marco. But yeah, amazing. she looks amazing. Let's go on Both to Pandora amazing. Box. I hate it. I Pandora Box. I do not like this dress. Okay, I do. What, what was in the, the Ren what Fair was the is going redemption? on? What was the redemption? So this hers was could... this, like, glitter... It was this like it was from the it was like a sequin and fur I think from All Stars one. But what was the what was the actual redemption? What was the thing for her, sequin? The theme? Yeah. I think it was sequins and fur, or maybe fur. I hate then this. no, I then hate no. You have to get into nitty gritty because I'm like, what was the redemption? 
there's not by the way i loved her dress it fit her well it i actually like the detail in the um i i'm not a designer i don't really know what it's like the the rouging and folding uh, on the like they call it taj area it was beautifully done but i didn't know what i'm the looking up was. the drag race all stars one um runway categories so i can see which one this one is hold on just give me one second well she was only on one episode of me behind first so the category was um i don't know what it the runway what was the runway because she was wearing know, green tell me. blue fur and sequins. i think it was fur but but she wasn't wearing fur nor seek. Oh my god, weren't we supposed to do this whole thing on stereo? We were, but that, then I realized it was going to be a whole thing trying to get it to happen. But we'll we'll do we'll get there. Don't you worry. I'm trying, girl. I'm like I text you. I set up my whole account. Main challenge, Anyways, challenge, it. runway, custom, custom but it gowns was, from Seek. Okay, it, it was, was a the, the, so okay. I'm looking up the 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 wait no. Challenge wins, main challenge, photo shoot, guest judges, bottom two. First eliminated Chet. because they were the fir first episode. Me, her, and Mimi. It's not telling me what this runway was, but I think it was fur and sequins. I think maybe. I, think I don't. Just like what I do like about Pandora's version of this is it's the same color. Oh, it was like matching scheme. drag or something. Yeah, it's the same color. Yeah, I, they had I don't the match, like this remember? Dress. Now, do you sorry. like this dress? Do well, you like this dress? It's it's Ren Fair. It's like what the f oh, yeah, opposites attract. Okay, I always I have to hate... ask when another girl wears a look. I have to go, where would I wear this too? And I looked at it and I went, "You look great in it. I think it's really well made. I think it's beautiful. She looks gorgeous in it. I would never wear it, and I don't know where I would go wearing it." Do you see what I'm saying? Okay, this I, I think it's well made, but that that doesn't make it good. I mean, this looks like she's going to Midsummer. And I hate this dress. I don't like it. She's horrible. She said, absolutely die. <laughs> Next. Okay. Yada Sophia is, do, is redoing her promo look, which also back in the day, all the promos were in black and they were on black <laughs> backgrounds. So you can barely even see the outfits. Every season, it was always in black. Season one was in black, right? Yes. Yeah. And this was black on black background. Also, but that being said, she looked, I love this look. She looks amazing. She looks amazing. Great. Yeah. Yara Sophia should never be judged on her looks. She's always looked good. It's when she yeah, opens she her good. mouth that she's bullshit and she should be immediately eliminated. <laughs> oh my God. This is, is this your tea or coffee? Um, okay. Trinity K. Bonet is doing her promo look. Also, okay. What was wrong with Trinity K. Bonet's promo look? They, they thought that she had to read, like, what's wrong with her promo look? I don't get it. By the way, I have to do some research and look up every other look that Trinity has done. Because I don't remember them, but has she done other bad looks? And if she hasn't, they had to pick one. Well, she should do a redemption of that uh, that look she did last week where she was the crossing guard. They should have said redemption last week. <laughs> That's what they should have fucking You're done. You're such a bitchy uh, honey for uh, This is why I love you so much. I love you so much. Oh, uh, but actually, to be honest, I thought she looked better the first time. Is it weird that I thought she looked better the first? Like, look at them side by side. I thought the first one looked better. Uh, so the uh, that was that gown with the sleeve. That was the first season. That was oh her my God. Yeah, she I thought she looked better. so much better the first season. Right? Yeah. I mean, I I like the the first one better, but sure. Okay, let's talk about Jan. I have to have a discussion about Jan. Because Jan, this episode, Jan seems really upset that she was that she was even put in the bottom, and she was like, "I should not even ever been there." And it's like, "What bitch you are!" And here's the thing: I'm not saying that Jan is like crap she did or throw anything, a little but like fit. I do she think threw that a little fit. Yeah. I, yeah, I think that Jan is one of those girls who's been getting this. Like the fans, are like you should have never been in the bottom. You should have never been safe. You should have. And sometimes the fans just say it so much it, it skews your perspective, and it gives yeah. it makes it hard for you to be objective of yourself. Yeah, I don't know. It, maybe I'm reading it, it too much. Going. Yeah, but yeah, I mean this this dress is this dress is fine. Like it's it's it looks it's a cute concept, and the dress is fine. What was the first one that she wore? It was her entrance look, which was like the sporty look where she walked in with a backpack and was like, I'm Oh, Jan. yeah. 
I don't love this look. It's it's fine. It is a it's fine. We need to move on to Ginger Minge. Cut that all out. That was not valuable in this episode. Oh no, Mitch Loop it. Um, I would <laughs> stick Loop. my penis into Jan's white simple butt. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, right, I love this so Let's go I into Ginger so Wait, keep going. Ging- we have to finish. I have to take up. I have to do cameos. <laughs> I know. Going to Ginger Minj's look. Girl, Ginger Minj right. is redoing her, future, her futuristic drag look. This is so... This is such an unfortunate garment. Okay. Uh, I'm going to make it funny right now. What is the monster called in Big Mouth? Oh, the hormone monster. Hormone monster that was by uh, uh, Maya, Maya Rudolph. Maya Rudolph, yeah. That's Ginger Minge in this episode. That look side by side. Please pull it up. This is Ginger Minge's, Minge's look. Yeah, this this I, I also don't know why if you if okay they did the, they did the lineup. Ginger Minge is officially the shortest person on the season. Sure. Why would you wear scrunchy? pant legs if your legs are the shortest ones in the room can i rewind and stop your comment at why would you wear scrunchy legs <laughs> it's <laughs> everything was wrong about this outfit everything and then she wore like this thing that did this to her face yeah she and looks, she she looks like thing. a chipotle burrito <laughs> with uh radiation <laughs> yeah i just i do i really don't like this look and i know that the fans are going to get mad at me for reading ginger men's oh, looks but like this is what we're doing here everyone unfollows me every day i don't give a shit uh, but it's like i love ginger men so much i'm actually kind of secretly rooting for her for the win because i love her and she's so talented but this look very talented come God, it's hideous. It's so bad. It's so bad. Too many rouging. Yeah, too much neon. The red hair and the face mask. It's just too much going on. And she's so beautiful. A red wig and, and, so and a silver cool. dress. I don't think. Yeah. S- somewhere. Um. Somewhere. Uh. The the Vivian is triggered by looking at this. All right. Let's go. Let's move on <laughs> to Silky Nutmeg Ganache. Silky right. Nutmeg Ganache looks fucking stunning. She looks I so good. Loved I loved this can't look. Even. I thought it was phenomenal. Yes. And to bring it back to the root of it, it's the redemption from a disco look, right? That they didn't like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is yeah. disco. A full jumpsuit fringe of red sequin. She gave Donna Summer. She. I'm like, this yep. is beautiful. So and she looks I so expensive. It. She looks so expensive. Stunning. I love I love Silky's look so much. It's stunning, stunning, stunning. Love it. And last but not least, Akiria C. Davenport. Um, she looks pretty good. I'm, I'm not like, okay, I'm not blown I'm away, but she you, looks good. What is a caftan? Like, what is that definition? It's like, I thought it was a okay, loose Okay, I think fitting. a caftan, yeah, I think a caftan is something that's really loose and that goes yeah. typically from wrist to wrist or at least to elbow to elbow and goes like, down at least to the... Yeah, and at least like to the knees. Sometimes people will put a string in the middle to tie it to, to cinch the waist in a little bit. But as long as it's like a but basically it still has a sack to be loose with a hole fitting, for the neck and arms. Huge fabric. It has to be loose somewhere. Yeah, huge, huge and fabric. And what did she wear the, the first season? Because I remember Ross got into got the into butterfly. it with her. The, yeah, it was a butterfly. Oh, what is that? A caftan? I mean, I thought it was kind of a caftan. I think that Ross really seemed to apparently have some really strong feelings about it. Ross should go to the caftan store and like learn some lessons and shut his tan. <laughs> I mean, Ross was probably being a little now. facetious about how angry he was. But yeah, I remember thinking to myself, it's which which look was your, out of all these looks, which one was your favorite? Out of all these looks, go through them, oh, take a look at them. Which one is your oh, favorite? Oh, Silky was so good. Silky was so good. But hold on. Silky was good. <laughs> nope, one. No, you can't pick two. You can't pick hold two. On. You have to pick one. Hold you on, pick hold two. on. I'm going through. All right. Hold on, hold on. Oh. All right. Wait, hold on, hold on. Oh. 
I'm gonna say no, my favorite looks two. of the night between the two was Silky and Sonique. Mm -hmm. Kylie. For me, no, I just one. You can't pick two. You have to pick one. Just one. Just one. Is it? Is it? So is it? Because Kylie? Because it's a it redemption Silky? look. I'm gonna pick Silky. Yeah, I'm gonna say because I was torn between Silky and Raja, and I do think Raja looks stunning. But as an outfit in general, I just like Silky's more. She looks insanely expensive. She looks so fucking beautiful. It is Fits crazy to me well. when a girl it goes looks home. Good, it's amazing. Yeah. It's amazing. so weird to me when a girl goes home looking the best of the week. Like That's when Kamora, I'm, I'm like, when Kamora, fuck. when Kamora Hall went home, she looked so good. But it was like, girl, you gotta go home. Yeah. Also, okay, let me hop back into my notes real quick. Another week, okay. I ha everyone has to do this, okay? This is a great moment. Everyone go to 47 minutes and 31 seconds. <laughs> so they get to the back. And I want to do it now. Wait, what? I won't do it. I won't do it. They go to the back and everyone's like going on about how they feel and, and <laughs> Trinity is like, no one celebrated me. So she says it and then Raja oh. just does. You, is Raja this when she was, face. She goes, is this when she was acting like Oprah? No, this is before. This is before that. She, Girl, Trinity she goes, was. Hold on, I, I need to have, she goes. I need to have my moment. I need to have my moment. And then Roger goes. Everybody, can we please take a moment to please acknowledge our sister Miss Trinity and tell her that she did an amazing job. <laughs> it really got me together. And she did, but like she was Oprah, and then she went when she was doing like the final like rundown, sitting at the couch. She was abusing absolute power corrupts absolutely. And I thought that. Well, what I wrote down, that's so funny you said that because I wrote down what in the Ayanla Van Zet is what going on. What in the Marxist it was like, instead of be is this? <laughs> Like instead of being instead of being like, why do you think she goes? Let me tell you something, baby. You are not trash. You are great. Lift your head up. Walk with yourself proud. Move forward into the world and say, I am a winner. I am a soldier. I deserve to win. I am gonna send you home. Also, she literally told everyone, you're safe. With that said, I'm gonna send you home. <laughs> she told every girl, Oh, baby, you have nothing to worry about. And she told every she was single being girl the that, biggest oh, good, bullshit artist, and I gotta say this. The more bullshit she got, the more I liked her. Because <laughs> you, like, you know, what I when I send somebody, I'm like, you're chat. such bullshit. I love it. I love it. I love it. Yeah, I was like, I don't need a motivational chat, bitch. I need you to tell me if I'm going to say or not. Like, like bitch, am what I the saying, going did on Did I here? convince you? Did I convince you? I was also, also, you I was and also Bob, gagged you on, were the, never on the way put, to the runway. Wait, you were never put in that place, but I was. Yeah, I never did all stars. I mean, I, I don't know what it's Shandula, like to have to, And I was to like, I knew I was never going home, but I thought for a split second, I was like, I may have convinced Shangela. Where I was like, are you open to alliances? <laughs> I and, forgot about that. <laughs> oh, girl, none of the people who watch the show have. I get texts every day, open to alliances. And I'm like, oh my God, oh my God. I was just trying to save my ass on the show, baby. <laughs> you... <laughs> I was okay. just trying to save Let's my ass. All right, I go, on go, the go, way go. out What's the next? door, on the way to the runway, Suki Nutmeg and Ash just reminded everyone of all the bad critiques everyone else got. Suki, <laughs> on the way out, she was like, oh, by the way, Jan got bad critiques for this. Akira got bad critiques. I was like, oh, my God. Suki is really throwing some flames on the way out the door. I was good for her. Yeah. Good for her. <laughs> she was like, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna throw these Molotov cocktails at everything. I was like, okay, girl, it was very Willem of her, wasn't it? <laughs> I'm really gagged that Silky and Akira picked each other. I could not believe yeah. that Silky and Akira chose each other's lipstick. I, I was like, oh wow. It just shows colors wild. of people, and I kind of appreciate it where it's like. You never know. You never know. And this is what I, I want to say this to you. This is my favorite. I, I don't know if I've sold you. I told you this last episode. This is my favorite fucking season of any season on RuPaul's Drag Race. I think it's oh, amazing. It's like I'm so like every second of watching this, I'm like, shh. Like, I love this. <laughs> I think the drama, I think the casting is right. I love it. I would love to be invited back. Also, I would love to be invited back on the show with you. I would love to. 
I love you. Why me? Why, why? I don't know. I just want to hang out with you more. I just love you. <laughs> I love you too. You can send me home um, again. I, okay. wouldn't, I wouldn't even care. I'd be like, Bob, this is fun. This is fun. Can we talk about Oh, this is an earth earthquake. Astrangia. I'm sorry. This is an earthquake. <laughs> it is. <laughs> Can we right. talk about Laganja Estranja falling from the ceiling? No one makes an entrance like Laganja. No one. To this day, she has the best entrance on Drag Race ever. And that fucking jump split from the... Was... That girl can make... That girl can enter a fucking room. Did you know that she was going to enter before she did? No, I had no clue. I was genuinely shocked. I did I say to Layla, I said someone's gonna fall from the ceiling, but I don't know why. Oh, I didn't think you it like would be knew. Layla. You like it, it would be um, Laganja. I was like, someone's gonna fall from the ceiling. I text. Can I be honest with you? I have been a fan yeah, of Laganja for years and years and years. We did a tour in Australia years ago with Shangela, Bibi Zaharbonet, me, Alyssa, Mada. Yeah, and Laganja was there. And we did a wonderful Australian tour. And that was my first tour I've ever done with Laganja. And she's always so in her head like this. Like, she cares so much. And I would go, hey! I said, I love you. You are so wonderful at what you do. And she goes, thanks, Wait, did everyone to see, Thorgy just confirmed, you just confirmed. I hit a trans a, person. I told, <laughs> I told everyone years I mean, ago, I said, Thorgy slapped me after I won Drag Race and none of you believed me. This <laughs> confirms this. I beat that trans bitch. <laughs> This confirms that you hit me. Anyway. By the way, oh while God. we're filming this, I got to tell you, while we're filming this, on my computer, it popped up three times because I texted Laganja tonight after I watched the episode. Three text messages have come in from Laganja saying, thanks, Mauma, spelled with a W, Mauma. I love you so much. I text her all the time when she was like, I'm the keynote speaker at my arts college. I'm now transitioning. Oh, Here I am. I teach my own dance school. Like she is from the school of like good yeah, queens. She works. She's a, she's a hustler. She's a I hardcore love, hustler. I just for think sure. she's very cool, and she's like three sixty. Her whole image on that show to what is become Laganja today. I love her. I support her. I cannot wait to work with her again. And I love her so much. And then when she came out out of that Can split, we? I was like, I hope. You get sent home, you cunt. No, <laughs> Can we talk real quick about how when they sent Silky home, RuPaul was like visibly upset. Oh, I don't remember. I have to rewatch. I have to rewatch. They said, was that what they happen? said was so no Laganja said the the the, the council I spoke or whatever line is, and they chosen Silky. RuPaul goes, Ugh. Did he go, Ugh, Jesus Christ? Like she was no. What what was the response? You saw it. RuPaul was like, "Oh my!" It was like a, oh. yeah, like like it hit RuPaul. Who posted it? RuPaul or Silky? All right, I I, I like, actually I really like, want to see this like immediately. Like it hit RuPaul in the gut when Silky got when Silky oh, got sent home. No. Well, uh, well, what we're gonna see next episode. Silky might have went home no matter who won, you know. Here, Silky. But it was so wild to see. Yeah, here it is. Yeah, RuPaul was shook. Shook. Oh, here, this one? Oh, Silky, this one? Silky. Oh, wait. Yeah, no. See, this is when I get like, all right, fine, but like that that edit could have been taken from hours before. Uh, sorry, no. What? I mean, it, it no. could have, but no. I, what? no. This is from a winner's perspective. So fuck you. Wait, what do you? I'm also wait, out of wine. I'll be right back. I have do to go pour me a... some more wine. 
like th- does I'm Thornton think here, that's a clip when they said when they say? said actually RuPaul we can't have Chipotle for lunch and RuPaul goes oh, like, oh. Like, and like, then they were like Silky Ganache where do you, you're home oh exactly thank you what do you think that clip of RuPaul <laughs> they went Thor G Thor is coming back for All Star Seven oh. All right, let's talk about no, the last No, it's probably thing. like Bob the Drag Queen one. Ugh. No, he would never. <laughs> you are ridiculous. Thor G. Thor is coming Laganja back with All-Star 7. Silky Ganache. Listen, Laganja, listen, Laganja beats, um... I don't Laganja listen, beats you know Trinity. this, right? But I hear it. But I hear it, <laughs> oh but god. I don't really listen. Oh my god, we're... Yo, everyone at home, we are so... It is... I want everyone at home to know it is 1.09 in the morning where I am. 2.09. It is 2.09 in the morning. Girl, I'm, I'm just I trying never to finish this, time this episode. Anyway. Also, I just, I did just episode. pick this up off the floor if you want to sing again. For Mitch, for his birthday. Oh my God. <laughs> Georgie, we're literally at the end of the episode. We're so, we are so close. Okay, who won? Laganja La beat Trinity oh, in the amazing, lip sync. Amazing. Amazing. I thought they both did a pretty good job, but I, I did, Laganja did. I mean, also, RuPaul loves, when when a girl does a split, RuPaul's reaction after over a hundred, after almost 200 episodes, RuPaul <laughs> is still like. <gasps> <laughs> and you can clock it. You it's can like, like take that screenshot. Like, and I'm like, all right. It's like, Ru, it's a split. Can it's I ask a you a question? If RuPaul said it's a tie. I would have believed it because Trinity actually did a great job. I was actually thinking that because I think that Trinity did a really good job pacing herself. I agree with you. I absolutely agree. With I you. watched it and I was so like, Thorgy. Yeah, I would never want to be up against uh, either one of those queens, to be honest. So I'm actually two questions. Who do you think? Who do you, who are you rooting for? And who you, who do you think is going to win? <sighs> well, season one, episode one. Sorry, episode one of this season. I always thought Ginger Minj is my girl. I think Ginger Minj for the win all mm-hmm. the way. Because just based on past everything, I think Ginger Minj deserves a win. Big girl. When you say based on everything, do you are you including the last three episodes of the show? Because based on the last three episodes, I would not say... When they did me so, really, um, really, sorry, sorry. When they did me really, really wrong on our season of season eight. Which time? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me get my joke out. Fuck you. Okay. <laughs> no, but like when you're part of the show once or twice, you're there. You see it, so you see it through a certain prism, right, Bob? You watch yeah, the show I, and you're I, like, we were there, we filmed this. So you, you you see it through a certain light and you're like, ah, I want Ginger to do so well, but like with these looks that she brought, no. <laughs> she was like, the, the frog look with the thing on her crotch, that was just like, come on. And then the rouging tonight, I was like, girl, come on. She just, she always knows how to dress herself. It's weird. It's such weird looks. Anyway, I think it would be very cool of the show to uh, crown a winner with Kylie uh, as a trans advocate and a cool chick that Mm -hmm. was an old season into the new season. Right? Am I crazy? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. I think think Kylie's doing a really good job. I think that right right now, I'm still rooting for Raja. I think Raja is just objectively doing a very good job on the show. I'm trying to think through. I like she's really nobody's really asked me this question about like who should win. I'm like, I think how about this? I'll say this. It is way too soon to ask me that stupid question because we're gonna be doing every single week together. Ask me in like two I'm gonna weeks. ask you every week. I'm gonna ask you I'm gonna ask you every week. Based on what we're watching, it's not Ginger Mint for the win. But Raja is doing very, very well. And I kind of want Akira yeah. to bring back slap it like it's. What would she say? What was that in her season when she was a um, cop? You gonna you gonna smack it today? You, you gonna, gonna smack it? Smack today. it today? I was like, 
<laughs> Thank you. That was the best. I want that on a t-shirt. I would buy it. Akira, if you're listening, if you're watching me and Bob right now on this show, smack it today. I want to smack it today. I will buy that t-shirt. Anyway. So I love you, Bob. All right, Thanks. y'all. We, that is... I love you, Thorgy. I really love you. This is episode two of season three of Purse First Impressions. Do we have and, every uh, other we'll all week, week left? This is a lot of weeks of us hanging out. But I also <laughs> miss you so much from across the country. So I love hanging out with you. I love you. Well, as it Betty said, no. So here we are. You. <gasps> oh, did you see the picture I just posted? <laughs> You don't what follow picture? me, do you? Oh yeah, me, you, and Betty. I, no, I did. On next, on I saw the picture of me, you, and, you, me, you, and Betty on Next Magazine. Yeah, and it's really great. I was yes, but thinking. I posted it and I wrote the comment. I mean, mm, meaning like we look incredible. We also that picture was amazing. Yeah, I remember that day. I remember a lot actually. That was great. All also, right, I so, lent you my shoes. Um, remember, I lent you my shoes during the photo shoot. And they and they didn't even shoot the shoes. I yeah. could have just stood there barefoot for all that for all yeah. we know. Whatever. I love you very much. Anyway, this has been fun. I can't I wait till the next too. episode. Can't wait. <laughs>